Cupcake, so once again, I'm going to be giving y'all a video on Wednesday instead of Tuesday, but right now I just got ready because I'm actually going to be going to town and running some errands, so I am going to set this up so you can see my outfit, so give me just a minute and I'll show you my outfit. Alright, so here's my outfit. I have this big comfy sweater that my mom just gave me when I visited her, and then I have these little, I don't know how well you can see it because I can't really see it. You have a necklace with like the little mint colored and then my little unicorn choker and then because I can't get every angle in and you still can't really see it. I have these like gray leggings on that are shaped like jeans but they're really just leggings and I just tucked in the sweater into the tank top underneath so that way you can see the pants. This is the outfit to go to Goodwill to look for Christmas presents. I really want to find some like maxi skirts for myself because I was going through all my clothes yesterday which is one of the reasons I didn't film again because I was literally just trying to reset this room because yesterday we tried to reset the other or the We've been trying to reset our rooms, and I, we went through everything, pretty much, because, like, this whole thing was just filled with stuff, and then that's all the movies and stuff, and it's still a work in progress. My boyfriend worked on his side of the bed, I worked on my stuff, which is mainly just my clothes, getting them put up or washed, which I realize I'm kind of out of frame, so sorry guys. It's apparently, I, my brain's not working for filming right now, so, um, but... Pretty much yesterday, I just worked on trying to clean my clutter because it's driving me crazy, which it's still kind of driving me crazy because I have laundry right here that needs to be done and laundry over there. And I just need to leave the house for a little bit. And I also need to go get our game that we bought. So I gotta go get that. I gotta go to Goodwill, see if I can find Christmas presents, see if I can find some, some skirts because I did get rid of four bags of clothes and purses and stuff that I've been like just keeping and I don't even take them out to use them. And now my cubby where my purses were at are now all in one cubby, which is great to me. Which I might actually change out to one of them. I'm not, no, I'm not sure because my backpack actually kind of matches this. So, I feel like I'm just rambling on. But um, um, I am going to go ahead and get my shoes on and get my um, rest of myself ready. But I think I'm going to... Also, in certain to this video, besides me ranting about multiple things, about uh, me getting ready. So, uh, take you along. Alright, and we're back. So, I went ahead and brushed my teeth, put my deodorant on, did all that stuff, but I got my sunscreen and my moisturizer. And I have this little makeup bag from when my sister-in-law and my brother got married. It has my little name on it from being a bridesmaid. I've had it for, I don't even know how many years that would be now that they've been together. But, um, get my makeup half out of here. So I got a little lip oil, mascara, which I need to replace. A little eyeshadow stick that I also need to replace because it keeps doing that. My little face roller. I already put perfume on, or else I've used the one that's in my on-the-go knife. Cause you can never be prepared. Never be too prepared. So anyway, let's go ahead and face roll. I also like to use this when I put the moisturizer on in a minute, just to get it to sink in, but I also like try to use it first before I put anything on my face to try to get like any puffiness out of like mainly my under my eye and stuff. So, alright, so first off, we'll put sunscreen on. And sometimes I go, what's the word for it, liberally on it, like I go crazy. Other times I barely put any on. Like, my grandmother told me any beauty advice she could give would be put sunscreen on every day, even if it's a cloudy day. Because my uh, father has 
skin cancer, so he has to wear long sleeves all the time. And uh, I am trying not to get that, but um, if I would have, I feel like I would have already had it. Because he had that since he was a young age, because he is a natural redhead. And back then, they didn't have that good of sunscreen. Like, SPF 50 back then was like a luxury item. So, he put a lot on, and it still didn't help. But he also worked um, as a telephone man, and he would be on long drives, and like his skin, just like where the button would be on the sleeve, uh, one time he got burned right there, just because a little gap of the sleeve opened, and so they had to burn the little skin cancer off, but he got to the point where he wasn't doing the burning thing anymore they were doing like the freezing one off but he hasn't had that much problem since then and uh he's been really being protective of his face and stuff like that he'll do sunscreen wear a hat like the whole nine yards the only thing i don't like about this is that it makes me look really oily but i'd rather protect my skin than not so now we're going to put moisturizer on which by the way, I don't wear foundation anymore. I used to, and it would be literally just a mainly cake on my under eye circles here. But then I looked so bad afterward because I wasn't like wearing my color. So I need to get a new one of this or whatever. Like the pump on it cakes up. So. Rub that in too. Like I said, it also makes me feel oily, but I'd rather be moisturized than dry like the desert. The biggest pot I even get dry on is just my forehead, which most people get oily, but that's I'm the driest on my forehead and right here on the edges of my nose. And I'm the worst about when I do my makeup. And I try to, like, cover this redness right here on my nose. It doesn't matter because five minutes later I'm trying to, like, purposely rub it off. And you'll notice, like, in my makeup, if, you, if I have the cake face, that all that right there is gone because I've already rubbed it off. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try to blend some of that into the skin. And I am no beauty guru of any kind. I, uh... In 2017, I was just watching one of my old videos on my birthday, just to reminisce about it, because my birthday is literally in eight days, but, um, I was, I got the Alice in Wonderland palette, which I still technically have, um, and I was saying that I could, like, do swatches of it and do makeup tutorials, I don't have no idea what I'm doing, so, um, okay, so now we have that. blush on and I don't know where you're supposed to put blush but I always put it right below the highness of my cheek my cheekbone because I have really high cheekbones like my family on my mother's side they're I guess Cherokee Indian but um so I just put it like right there right below it all right and then I get this without making a mess. Nope. It went in my hand. So. I don't really like wasting makeup though, so I try to use all the makeup that I can before I throw it away. Because I mean, it still works. It's just the stick wants to come out of the container. Eyeshadow stick, get blush, like that. Okay, go ahead and do the lip oil. Good, I need it. There we go. So now all we have left. Back in the bathroom. 
We have the lotion for stress relief, eucalyptus and spearmint. I got those a long time ago, but when I'm having like those really bad days, I really like to use this. I'm not having a very bad day today yet, but like my anxiety is horrible, so. Which I'm slowly just putting makeup into my skin. Um, I need to find, it's up here. Well, you're gonna see my legs for like two seconds, but my highlighter I think is up here with my other makeup. You put highlighter on and then also some eyeshadow. My uh, white shoes on, they're not white right now, but they have little highlighted kick, uh, kicks on the back, which I've had those forever, so this is what I was wanting, this highlighter. I put that highlighter on, I kind of want to use this one because I'm wearing... like pastel stuff. Ooh. I'll top them together. Should bring it up there a little bit. Because why not? You know? Ooh, I like this. I always do this like right around my birthday. I'm like, you know, do whatever you want. Please you and only you. But I'm like only like that during like the end of the year. Alright, so let's see if this works, because that's pigmented. I'm trying to cover up a little bit of the under eye. It's starting to look really harsh and shadowy on the camera. Which, I wear glasses anyway, so it doesn't, it's a little bit better. It doesn't do it as bad with it. So now let's crack this back. I did not really show it in the video when I originally got it, but this is the palette colors. It comes in this really pretty, really pretty box, and then it slides right there, but this opens, or I thought it did, yeah, it did, okay, I was like, wait a minute, and it comes with this little pretty mirror, and it says, we're all mad here, and it says, I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy, my reality is just different from yours. And then you open up the little doors, and it makes this pretty, it's reflecting the mirror, but it makes this pretty butterfly, and I love it so much. So, that's the palette itself, and then here's this, so, I kind of want to dig into this color. I figure out what color I want to go because right now it's like really gold but I'm wearing pastels so you can't even really tell what I did because my head and eyes I just straight up put a whole mint color on top. Just ruined everything I just did. This color is called Heads Will Roll.
in like a whole nother direction. Let's do warm tone, then I'm wearing pastel, so let's get blue and purple into it. And I do this all the time. I like to do nighttime eyeshadow for midday. So that's that's cool. That's whatever. And who needs brushes when you have your fingers too? So I'm gonna wipe these hands real quick and then I'm gonna try to blend it with the brush I have in the actual palette. But as you can tell, they are pigmented. I'm hoping once I get mascara on and put my glasses back on, it'll be fine. So. I have no makeup artist by any means, because I mean, look how messy that is. Alright, so what I used was, for the highlight, I used this one that was called Royal Flush. And then I used Heads Roll Roll, and dipped in a little bit of Gone Mad, and then Duchess and Paradox were my gold tones I was doing before I just decided to cover it up with the mint color and purple. And then I did a little bit of Metamorphosis at first with the uh, Heads Roll Roll color. But, put this back in its little box. Mascara and my hairbrush is in my car. Funny thing is I'm literally dressing up like this just to go thrifting and go to GameStop. But that's everything. So now I'll put the glasses on so you can see the real effect of everything and get my hair somewhat sorted out but yeah that's the look very oily looking and dark eyes but uh I feel good as I look in the camera compared to me in the mirror I I like how I look because I have this pretty highlighter on it's like blue and gold and my luscious lips and my eyes are really pretty done so anyway i'm going to try to go get this video edited for you guys and get it up and ready for you so um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i try to put videos out every tuesday slash wednesday depending on how stuff goes and um i will see you in the next one so until then stay sweet cupcakes bye